millennials contributed about 17% of the electorate in 2008. They at least have the potential to contribute about 24% now. The session today at uh, St. Francis is about a new generation of Americans, the millennial generation, Americans born 1982 to 2003. They had major influence on the 2008 election, uh, providing uh, Barack Obama 80% of his popular vote margin, and we are going to discuss their potential impact in the 2012 election. They've lived a relatively sheltered and protected uh, young uh, childhood. Uh, certainly the uh, events of 9-11 uh, caused their parents to double down on the safety side of, of life. So that's just a little brief about the parental upbringing that caused this generation to have the attitudes that they do. The millennial generation is often noted for its ability to use technology, particularly social media and the constant uh, mobile phone use and texting and so forth. But in our book, Millennial Momentum, we talk about how that's a surface behavior that underneath that behavior is a much m more important set of differences in how they behave. Their belief in the group, their commitment to civic activity, uh, their, will their optimism and their uh, can-do attitudes are in fact much more important in the long run than the technology they're so good at. And those values are what are the cause them to use the technology the way they do, not the other way around. By a 54 to 39 percent margin, millennials prefer a bigger government with more services, and those percentages are exactly the opposite of the way older generations answer that question. And therefore, you shouldn't be surprised that millennials are the only generation where more people call themselves liberals than call themselves conservatives. I think millennials are a lot different than uh, the young people in the 60s who might also have been uh, liberal in some ways. You know, I think this is a very pragmatic generation. They recognize that there are big problems, um, the climate change, the national debt, and they're really eager to pursue sort of assertive uh, problem solving around those. A generation that's willing to do the hard work to create compromise, to create solutions to the hard problems that we face. I think, in fact, that we're uniquely qualified to tackle the challenges that we face, like climate change and some of these sort of globalization issues and all the different things that we're up against um, in a way that no other generation was. They are emerging. They are very powerful. They are a large generation, one out of every four millennia, uh, Americans in the next election will be a millennial, and so they are a very crucial generation in that regard. They have a, the potential to really turn things around in this country to make our nation a better nation.